Good day, Chicago. I'm Corey McFerrin. I'm Anna DeBlantis. It's Wednesday and another scorcher out there today for sure. You know, I was looking at the red eye. It says hotter than Haiti, hotter than Albuquerque, New Mexico, hotter than Vegas here in the city of Chicago today. Yeah. Congressman Anthony Weiner is keeping a low profile since admitting he lied about posting lewd photos of himself on Twitter. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi has ordered an ethics investigation while most Republicans are calling for Congressman Weiner to step down, which right now he is refusing to do. So we invited Sam Chapman of Empower PR to uh, tell us talking about image consulting. How does somebody like Wiener repair his image? How does he or can he bounce back from something like this thing? It's going to be difficult with all that tape of him denying, denying, denying for 10 days. That makes quite an ad campaign uh, for his you know, person who's going to be fighting him in the primary. It would have to be a primary victory, though, because he comes from a very Democratic-leaning district. Mm -hmm. And I believe that Pelosi would be asking him to resign right now if she thought he would do it. But the House leaders asked Rangel to resign, and he did not, and they looked a little feckless. So I think that they just can't call for his resignation because he's going to ignore it. Yeah. Sam, how would this be different if, as soon as the report surfaced, he came out right away and said, you know what, I messed up, it was me, and I'm sorry. Instead of lying about it, is that it for the way he should have gone about it? He might be the next mayor of New York that way. Okay. It would be up yeah. to his wife, I think, at that okay. point, whether mm -hmm. or not he would continue to yeah. be kept in the good graces of the leaders of the Democrat Party. And right now, I think that that ship has sailed. So, yeah. in, in general, are you telling us that you believe, in most cases, truth is really the way to go with this stuff because we, we haven't always seen that we saw president clinton kind of walk the line there well that isn't sex mm -hmm. or this is and i didn't do that and 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 he seemed to you know survive that fairly well but now in this age day and age do you believe truth is the way to go well i think it would have been the way to go back then as well he he got impeached which uh True. you know he wasn't convicted but he's only the second president to get impeached so mm -hmm. i the first rule of crisis communication is to tell the truth to apologize to show control and authenticity and do it right away and the longer you drag it out the worse it's going to be for you when the truth surfaces and the media are dogged you all do not give up when you smell blood in the water and when a man doesn't know what his own drawers look like you say to yourself mm. that sounds like a lot doesn't, doesn't sound mm. right yeah doesn't but you know you look you look at guys like uh, former New York governor Elliot Spitzer right he went through that whole scandal and he winds up being a national cable analyst slash anchor making a bunch of money right. so it's, it's not like he can can't do anything. There are examples of people who survive. Yes, and I'd love to be Representative Weiner's book agent right now. I think he could sell <laughs> yeah. a heck of a book, but he was yeah. on his way to great things, and I think yeah. writing a book about your own scandals may make you some money, but it's not a great thing. I know no. you work with a lot of high-profile clients. In general, though, it seems like we've had a string of high-profile men, from Brett Favre to the Republican Congressman, Representative Chris Lee, texting photos of themselves as if it will never be seen, as if someone will never get this in the digital age that we won't find out about in the media. Is there something to do with this affiliation with power? Do you um, see that? I don't know. I, I wonder if this is happening all across American homes and it's only the famous who are getting caught. Mm -hmm. um, my wife thinks that high testosterone males are the ones who make it to power and that they're more likely to cheat. So mm -hmm. I, I, I like to listen to my wife. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I've heard people the last couple of days say, you know, he may be a goofball and he may have lied about it, but in the end of the day, did he really break any laws? I mean, he's doing what a lot of people do, send in racy photos and chat back and forth and maybe aside from your wife, well, what's the big deal. Some people think that. Well, I guess it came out yeah. that one of the calls was on a congressional telephone. Right. And that's and a big deal. That may mm -hmm. be a big deal. It was yeah. one of the things that has tripped that up some politicians. Crossing the line, right? Yeah. Right. Um, so, yes, I think that this is arguably an ethics issue and not a legal issue. And if he just manned up right away, yeah. we wouldn't still be talking about this. And we would miss a lot of great fun. And, and right, a lot of great headlines, too. I mean, my gosh, have you seen the New York, you know, the New York papers have gone nuts oh, with it. It's, All of us are talking about yeah. it. Sam, it's good to see you. Thank you for joining us this morning. Good to see you, Tim. Sam Thanks. Chapman from Empower PR.